Welcome, students, to today's exploration of a crucial concept in macroeconomics, the balance of payments. This crucial term represents the sum of all financial transactions made between the residents of a country and the rest of the world over a specified period. By gaining a solid understanding of this, we can better comprehend the dynamics of global economics. The balance of payments, often referred to as BOP, operates somewhat like a ledger, chronicling a nation's economic interactions with the rest of the world. When we talk about residents, we aren't just talking about individuals. This includes businesses, the government, anyone else residing in the country. The transactions they undertake could be anything from buying a baguette in Paris to investing in a foreign company. So, how do we break down the balance of payments? Well, it consists of three key components, current account, capital account, financial account. Each of these accounts provides a different perspective on a nation's international economic activity. Let's first delve into the current account. This account gives us a snapshot of a country's economic activity by monitoring the exchange of goods and services. Think about exports of machinery or imports of coffee beans. Also, it accounts for net income from abroad like wages or dividends and transfer payments such as foreign aid or remittances. But how does this relate to the balance of payments? Well, it's simple. If a country exports more than it imports, it runs a current account surplus. If it imports more than it exports, it's a current account deficit. This dynamic helps determine whether the overall balance of payments shows a deficit or a surplus. Moving on to the capital account. This one tracks the inflows and outflows related to unilateral transfers of capital. These can include debt forgiveness or migrants transfers. It also accounts for the acquisition and disposal of non-produced, non-financial assets, like patents or copyrights. Lastly, we have the financial account, which records investment flows into and out of the country. The investments a government can make include, direct, portfolio-based, other investments. By adding up the current account, the financial account, the capital account, and a balancing item, often called, net errors and omissions which corrects any statistical discrepancies, we arrive at the balance of payments. This total gives us a comprehensive view of a country's economic relationships with the rest of the world. Understanding the balance of payments is vital to grasp how a country interacts within the global economic stage. It influences exchange rates, informs policy decisions, and can indicate the health and future direction of an economy. So, remember, it's all about balance. See you next time.